<clears throat> Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing great today. Um, last video of the week since I will be on a trip for a couple of days and Friday I will be with no internet. I will be unreachable. I will be in Wisconsin, in Wisconsin, um, at Circle Sanctuary. So I'm very excited. Good morning, Bill Newitt. Welcome to Coffee Break with Turbo by Laura. Today we are using three oracles. Today's Oracle Day. Two of them happen to be by Stacy DeMarco. It just happened. I didn't plan it that way. So I'm using the Gospel of Aradia as the first oracle for today. And I'm also using the Love Empire by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. These girls really freak, freak me out because they look like bugs. Their eyes are huge and they're pale. and They're supposed to look like vampires, but I think they look like bugs. And the last but not least, another Stacy DeMarco, of course, the Halloween Oracle. And I'm very excited because on Halloween day, I will be at Ojo de Fortuna um, doing readings, but also enjoying the party. But I'm going to be doing readings early as I get there from 7 to 9. Oops. And um, I'm on Facebook jail again. I wish people stopped reporting me, you know, um, because that's why you're put in jail when somebody reports you for sharing things. It was worth it. I shared the thing about La Katrina and Day of the Dead, so that's why I got reported, and I'm on Facebook jail. So if you can, if you will, share this video with people, with your friends and all that. Um, anyway, um, I'm also going to be doing my workshop, Origin and Traditions of Day of the Dead, on November 2nd at Ojo de Fortuna. So stay tuned, follow Ojo de Fortuna, follow me, and um, join us for those celebrations on October 31st from 7 to midnight, or on November 2nd from 4 to 10, I think. Um, and let's see what the Gospel of Aradia has to say for us. We have one card. We have the shadow. I, You're not going to believe this, but the other day that we used the Gospel of Aradia, we also have the shadow. It's funny because that's the only card that I have pulled from this. Um, Oracle. We can take a lesson from this and examine our own shadow from different perspectives. Doing so can help us be more objective about our shadow side and allow us to distinguish between its positive and negative aspects. The dark of the moon is the lunar aspect under which to delve gently and safety, safely into working with your shadow side. There's a poem here, the shadow look the shadow looms dark, the shadow looms long. Its siren call beckons, it sings its seductive song. You might not see it within you, it hides away in the blind spot. Behind you, within you, is squeezing you well in a knot. Shadow self, shadow work, basic, basic, basic to heal. And at this time of the year, of course, when the veil is thin, you can do work to ask your ancestors to help you heal and to help you with shadow situations and or messages. Why not? All right. Let's see what the Love Empire Oracle has for us. Thank God for IGTV and Instagram because I get to share far and wide these videos. Um, I'm so bummed that I'm on Facebook jail. And on top of that, I cannot see 
what you're all commenting here. I know there's six people, seven people watching. I cannot see your comments. I cannot interact with you. We have the minute ecstatic ritual and energy release for the love empires. And let's see what the minute has to say. Number 19. There she is. It is safe for you to give way to feelings of intense bliss and happiness, even excitement. Feeling deeply and allowing your soul to be swept up in the rapture is a beautiful thing for you to experience at this time. It is safe to let, the, let things happen under the current circumstances. It is safe for you to give way to feelings of intense bliss and happiness, even excitement. Feeling deeply and allowing yourself to be swept up into the rapture is a beautiful thing for you to experience at this time. It is safe to let this happen under the current circumstances. Don't be afraid of your feelings. Let them flow and do you, my friends. There is no other choice. Just feel your feelings. You know who doesn't feel anything? The dead. We need our feelings. We need our joy. We need our happiness. We need our sorrow. We need our fear. All our feelings are needed in our life. And sometimes we don't want to feel anything, but then what do we want? We want to be dead? I don't. As much as I love Day of the Dead, I don't want to be dead yet. Life is cool. Okay, let's see what the Halloween Oracle has for us. <laughs> we have invisibility. He is creepy. I don't know why I say it's a he. Could be a she, could be a they. It looks it looks masculine to me. Invisibility. Let's see what the invisibility has for us. All right. The idea of hiding away and not being seen is also a big part of the dark side of this concept. We're all born to shine our light out into the world and to take our roles. Hiding our talents, not expressing our true selves, stealing others' ideas or work, and being someone else rather than your authentic self are all aspects to consider should your car, should this car appear on your reading. The concept of invisibility, invisibility is a double-edged sword. Well, this is a powerful tool to be able to get information or to assist whilst no one sees you. Individuals using it are privy to information that may not be meant for them, and it might be taken out of context or authentically. It is a power of manipulation and easily abused. My dog just scared the crap out of me because he came through the door <laughs> pushing it. Oh my goodness. Uh, anyway, the concept of invisibility is a double-edged source. Well, this is a powerful tool to be able to gain information or to assist. While no one sees, individuals using it are privy to information that might not be meant for them and it might be taken out of context or authentically uh, or authentically. It's the power of manipulation and easily abuse. The idea of hiding away and not being seen is also a big part of the dark side of this concept. We're all born to shine our light out into the world and to take our roles. Hiding our talents, not expressing our true selves, stealing others' ideas or work and being someone else rather than your authentic self are all aspects to consider should this card appear in your reading. Thank you all for watching. I hope this uh, reading serve you. I will start using my glasses because I cannot see anymore. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for watching. Bye-bye, Instagram Live. I mean, Instagram TV, IGTV. And bye-bye, Instagram Live. Thank you for watching. And as always, bye-bye, my dear Facebook friends.
Never forget that you are loved. Ciao.